Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, God, okay. It's actually been a very short amount of time. I mentioned that I have been having massive breaks between recordings, but this is actually a pretty uh, uh, quick jump for me. Um, I'm still moving out. That's why the wall behind me is now bare. <laughs> I could easily get used to this. It's my throne for a day. Man, what's your deal? You look like you belong there, considering what you've accomplished. <laughs> what is your job, dude? Are you just here to be like, yes, you did this thing? Isn't she bulletproof? You're not even a marshal? The crew you sent with the prisoners. When did they all leave? Well, now. I guess around three hours ago. Is that minimum safe distance? That should be enough time. For what? You're just a bird in a cage now. A cage from which you will never emerge. Have you forgotten yourself, witch? You are the one who has forgotten, Jen. <laughs> How could they have possibly expected this? Oh, interesting. She is getting shot. Because earlier bullets would bounce off of her, but here they just go through her because who cares? Oh, she had tears. That's cool. Oh, it does that anime thing. <laughs> I'm playing an anime game here, commenting on the anime things, but... Damn. Oh, they got that really high quality animation. Look. They only used this in the uh, in the first chapter. Get it, guys? It's World War II. There's a nuclear weapon. We know. I'm I'm aware that this is in World War II. What the the whole damn citadel's up and erased. But it's not like they even have regular bombs here. Like, I haven't seen... I get, I've seen mortaring, but I haven't seen, like, proper bombing. Um, so I don't know if they, if these characters have any concept of this. No way! Is this part of the Valkyria's power, too? That's a shame, because I liked that character, and I was hoping we would have seen more with her. The Flast claimed all of Galia's main army. Hmm. <laughs> I guess it's up to the militia then, right? Elvaria. So this is the purpose of your life? Wilkin! Wilkin! Bad news. Oh, everyone died except the main characters. <laughs> Calm yourself down, El. What's bigger news than what we just saw? I just got word from Rangries. An emergency dispatch. Back to Rangries, huh? A massive unidentified weapon is barreling through Cloden en route to Randbreeze now. This'll be that second tank they talked about. What? Are you serious? All to the militia. There was an era of... Oh, man. Chapter 16. The Maiden's Shield. Is this going to be... Because last time we fought a big tank, there was also a Valkyria. That was a very interesting chapter, but it was difficult. Um, Marmota, yeah, new tank. But last time we fought the uh, the Batamis, the big tank, there was also a Valkyria there. You know, as in Bless was there. So I wonder if we will have a Valkyria to help in this fight. You know, on on our side this time, because that would be cool. I recall that Valkyria are technically like just super. Scouts or super... The carrier weapons behave like bullets. That's what I remember. They're not explosives. Um, they still have the same type of bullet uh, attack. That was what I was able to notice from fighting Silvaria in her, you know, devil trigger. 
The Clodin Wildwood is but a tender flower patch before the Marmota. Your Grace, a massive explosion was reported at the Citadel at Girlandio, sir. Our rear guard and Galia's primary force were both caught in the blast and obliterated. The rear guard, hmm. In terms of the term rear guard, that usually just means a third of the force, but only because it's one third of the terms. It's main force, rear guard, and vanguard. Um, I may even be forgetting the middle name properly, but the point is, is that like, that could be anywhere to a third to, you know, one tenth of them. I see. And Selvaria has performed her duty. Again, the concept of like, our army can keep going as long as we have Ragnite and we have more Ragnite than the rest of the country, despite our tiny size. I still like that concept. Um... The idea that, like, okay, look, if you get one good shot in, like, if you get one really good round, they're dead. They're done for, and they're going to be dead forever. But if you if that doesn't happen, they can patch themselves up, or a medic can get them out, or whatever, and then they can ragnite up and just keep fighting. And that's cool. I like that. Conceptually, that's awesome. That concept of, like, yes, we have reserves but we can't heal and you have no reserves but you can that's still such a good concept i love that so much still um now nothing remains to stay out oh there. man continue the march to the galleon capital <laughs> operation maiden shield huh The Empire's ultimate weapon passed unhindered through the thick of Cloden's woods, said to be impenetrable to all but bird and beast. I feel like continued its juggernaut march north towards Maximilian the is kind of letting the threat of another Valkyria kind of just slip by. Leaving the former site of the citadel at Girlendio behind. The militia raced to the capital's southern gates to intercept... By the way, um, we now have to, uh... We now have to, like, build tension, right? Everyone. We've received intelligence on the weapon coming through Cloden's forest. But, on the one hand, I know that there are other Valkyria Chronicles games, but I know that they cover the same event. Like, it's not a direct sequel, as in, like, it's not like... And then Welkin did this, and it was a different thing. It's not that. So, tension can still be built. But the problem is... There's the whole thing of like, oh, and also, uh, no matter what happens, Irene Kohler is still going to be able to write a book about this. Now, you might just be like, oh, well, what if she's writing from jail? Or what if it's like a thing like, I don't know, she's dead and it's not real. But that would be lame because this whole thing has been like the book is real, though. Uh, but what if it's a thing like... She's writing it from jail. Well, the book is pretty positive about Gallia, so... The report identifies it as one of their most tightly guarded development projects. Most secret black projects, huh? It closely matches plans for a terrestrial dreadnought. Marmot terrestrial dreadnought as a term is so cool. <laughs> it's heavily armored and carries a host of large caliber cannons. A battleship on legs. Awesome. Leave it to the imps. It's one ridiculous take after the other from these people. <laughs> Furthermore, it is likely that Maximilian is aboard the Marmota in person. Are you serious? How do you get there so quickly? Regardless, we need to stop that thing, or the capital will be in danger. Capital ain't got tanks, Welkin? Oh, sure, just gotta stop it. It's a battleship, boss. How are we gonna stop it? We'll be cooperating with the Randgreaves Royal Guard in effecting Operation Maiden. The anything Royal Guard is cool. Even just the Royal Guard. Our job is to lure the Marmota into a canyon the Guard has lined with mines. Okay. Beyond the mines, they'll be concentrating all of their firepower to stop it. Interesting. Leading it into a minefield, huh? 
So we're the base. Don't step on any mines. Unfortunately, yes. With Galia's army vaporized, this plan is our only real option. On the one hand, I don't really know if they've even, like, gone into the thing of, like, oh, yeah, everyone died as much as they could have. But on the other hand, they don't have time, you know? Still, I'm not really sure how I feel about how they just brush over the fact that, oh, everyone in the army's dead now. Like, it was one cutscene. Once they get out on open land, there's no stopping them. It has to happen in that gully. Our bait will likely be a Valkyria, right? A land dreadnought. I still can't even imagine. It's cool. Vulcan. Alicia, what's wrong? You look kind of down. What do you mean kind of down? Like a million people were just killed. Also, why was everyone at that fortress? When they say everyone in the army, do they mean everyone who is... In the army and in the area and could step up to stop this? Or do they mean the entire army? It's nothing. I'm fine. Now let's go beat us up a battleship. Alicia. Yeah, sure. Oh, boy. Pardon me. Highness, the Empire's dreadnought approaches at great speed. Thank you. The Royal Guard and militia were deployed in a tandem operation, but the outlook is grim. We understand. We shall join them on the field. Using the Royal We now, I notice. Fetch here the Royal Armaments and tell the Castle Guard to assemble outside. Wait, what? Your Highness, where do you intend to go? I cannot idly sit atop a throne while the nation crumbles around me. It is the office of the Archduke's duty to fight for the safety of its people. Ah, yes, but that would be inconvenient. Inconvenient to not stop your own genociding? Bargaining chip allowed. It would not do <laughs> to allow you to continue. Bargaining chip? You plan to sell our nation to the Empire then? You can't find good help. Perish the thought, dear princess. Galia is about to be reborn, a new child. As a glorious kingdom with me as its king. <laughs> what is his plan? Like, I know that we've only seen him a little bit and that he's been responsible for, you know, schmoozing and sliming and scheming. But, like, what could his plan be? Just like, oh, I'll, I'll be in charge of Gallia. I already know where everything is. And then we'll remain a sovereign nation, right? What do you... What do you mean? <laughs> Like, what, what could that possibly mean? What's your plan? Also, what's the point? We're about to commence Operation you can't be serious, man. With the Rand Royal Guard. Okay, very narrow. Squad 7's here. Armoda is the north end. Ah... What? I know you can do this without casualties. Are you crazy? Uh. I don't know if I'm going to need these guys because like. I don't know that we're going to have the ability to shoot other men but letting the enemy pass here means allowing them into the capital oh jesus uh glad i saved 
We have to divert that monster away from the capital. Squad seven, move out. Welkin is is now the time. It's right there. It's behind you. So that's it, huh? They weren't kidding with that battleship stuff. Jesus. Remember, our mission's just to lead it along. Avoid combat where you can. And don't forget to keep your distance. Get run over by that thing and it's all over. So they probably mean get run over and you're dead. Which appears to have been the case for tanks prior. Because... Get ready to die, imps. Alright. Normal character. So... Don't even try to fight it head on. Are there even people? Like, I, I brought I brought these guys along because, like... I don't know, but, like, are there even people here? Like, enemy soldiers for me to shoot at? There's one. I'm on. Keep advancing. This mission's gonna suck because I have to rely on his movement. I'm going to poke Alicia's nose over here. Because I know that she has the movement. Give him something to think about. I'm waiting on her to go Valkyria like at any second. I feel like that's the appropriate response too. Just watch this. This is going to be problematic. That thing doesn't even have a health bar as well. Which means it can't be killed. Entering combat. Yeah, it's like shooting a wall. It does nothing. I'm gonna see if I can't bump Largo ahead here. Nope, okay. This is a strange uh, mission, because like, the whole thing is based on like walking and taking your turn and waiting on the guy. But all the other missions have points and score based on how little time you spent, you know? Like, if you do everything in one round, then that's a that's a golden victory or whatever. Your body's yours to use. I don't want to be alone. Homer, they're in sight. I promise it's okay. I'll just top this off, because may as well. I like that the Edelweiss has gotten to be this, like, crazy, super, uh, uh, like, over-muscled. Like, you can notice that the main tank barrel has gotten way thicker and that everything is way huger on it. I like that. So I kind of feel like we're going to beat this game and we're not going to get a, a, a appreciable glance at the Shamrock's potential. I, I've commented on this on in other episodes, but, like, it's, uh... It's a tank that's really good at killing guys, but I could have one really fast guy kill guys, and that would be a lot better for me. I don't know what I should be expecting out of it, but, like, it's just not great at its job. Lancer, huh? Okay, so there are guys... Great plan, moron. And is, is this going to be a thing where the Marmota doesn't really have like a... Uh... Now. 
where the Mormota does not have a, uh, how do I put this? Oh, man. That's all right. The Mormota does not take command points because it's just, it is just a thing. Like, it's a geo effect, essentially. Ooh, nice. They're really thinking about it. It's weird. Like, the amount of space between enemy turns is kind of strange. Jesus, Alicia. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Marmota incoming. Lieutenant, explosives have been installed next to the gully walls. Detonate them with a gunshot. They'll cause a rock slide that may slow the enemy down. Hmm. But won't the person setting them off also get caught in the rock slide? Not if they have a gun, Wilkin. They're shock sensitive time bombs. Once you arm them with a shot, there's still time. Shoot them, then pull out before they go off. Their range is wide, though, so be careful. That's weird and confusing. Enemy mortar, huh? All right. I'm hoping to be able to get ahead of the mortars, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. This map's pretty tiny. I think I'm clear of it. Huh. Just, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's time for all good little gallions to run home and hide. Boy. Make sure to keep your distance. Man, this is going to be a problem, dude. I, I have, like, no concept of what successful execution of this operation should look like. <laughs> There is a, uh, this isn't, this isn't something that I know of has been done, but, like, there was this era where, like, mercenary work was, like, just perfectly, completely normalized and standard, and, like, it's like, hey, I need some extra cash, may as well be a mercenary. Uh, and that was just a thing that people would do, like, all the time. Um... But, like, that kind of died out after tanks became a thing. Because you needed, you know, government cash to buy a tank. And because, like, the original tank was such a, you know, secret, cool, important government project that, like, you know, you, you do a tank and, and that's going to be, like, you know, only the government has the kind of scratch to pull that off. But the idea of, like... Look, we're just like nine guys, but we're important and we matter because we do have a tank and no one will ever take that from us. That's kind of a cool concept. Um, obviously, it's not actually a part of this game. Like, it's not a, a thing in this game. Because um, that's not the story they want to tell. But, like, the idea of, you know, like, Hungarian, Hungarian mercenary style stuff going on. But tank warfare is, is common now. And like there are just, you know, you can own a you can own a family tank. Your dad can give you his tank when he dies. That's interesting to me. You got it, hon. Again, I don't know if it makes any sense, but like, I think it's cool. 
there's some kind of something that happens when you're just like when you and a bunch of guys are just sitting on top of a tank we've gotten a few of those scenes in this game but like something about it you know okay is this a thing where like all of them are off screen so we have no idea what they're actually doing or are there just not guys here okay we were in the smoke but the smoke is bigger than the blast also pressure sensitive time bombs does that make any sense especially ones that are triggered by gunshot what kind of machinery is holding up under that ton of kind of stress sir there's a fork in the gully Oh yeah, forgot you're in here, Chris. The straight path leads away from our target. We need to make them turn. Wait, what? In that case, why not use the explosives on the straight path to block it with debris? Right. Good plan. Let's give it a try. Cuz there's a uh the straight path. Yeah, I guess they mean that. I assumed that we were all going over here. Or that we didn't want the tank to go over here because there was a red dot here. Guess the Marmota is going down a straight line, yeah. Of course, never mind. How stupid of me. It's Ragnite. Ragnite can do anything. Ragnite doesn't have to make sense. Also, I guess it's a thing of like, there were enemies this way. That means that this is the correct path. Because you find resistance along this path. Yeah, this is going to be a weird, like, mission. Just because... What, like, what even, you know? Okay, so now we know what that looks like. Out. Go to move Alicia away from this. I could potentially start using Alicia to bank command points. Just because Alicia and, and um, what's his name? Homer can just sprint so far ahead. Shit. Uh, is there any point even? Just come on. Uh. All right, we're back. Partially my fault, but you know. One of those things, not like you can save and quit. Um, so we have a slightly different setup this time. Oh boy. Are we, what is the plan here exactly? These appear to be like foot mines. So we now have two rock slides set up. We should at least. Yeah, we do. Uh, because I think this is really just meant to be a simpler thing. I'm going to push Largo as far ahead as I can. Oh, boy. Um. The Batamus can... Batamus. The Marmota can only reach this far, I think. I think? I think that's what it means, so I'll bank this turn. Um... I'll move everyone up next turn for sure, though, because next turn I have uh, uh, things for them to do. Presumably, I will. Um, I killed everyone over here, like, no problem. So I don't really know if there's going to be any enemy resistance 
nobody moved last turn. And that appears to be staying consistent this time, too. I guess those mortars can't blast the uh, rocks apart. That was fast. Everybody, stay sharp out there. So is that going to be enough to divert its path? Just blowing those two? Because, like, on the one hand, I don't know what else I could do, but it seems deceptively simple. So, the straight path leads... In that case, why not use the explosives on the straight... Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. I feel like they could just do the do the alarm and do the thing and then like I don't know. <laughs> like I would think that that would be enough, right? Gotta love nature. This is for you, Ace. Sibling ties. What triggers that? Okay. Moving out. Move Alicia up. I'm really hoping that this will be enough. I don't really know what else I could be doing to ensure that, like, they don't come over here. I guess I can go in and look. Huh. Weird. I guess it's safe to leave Alicia there. The closer she is from uh the closer she is to danger, the farther she is from harm, right? Way ahead of you. Also, did these not trigger because I ran them over with the the these ones here? Did the middle of the tank pass over them? Oh, I can actually go this way. Not that it means much, but... Yes, right away. I'll have you sprint in here and... My flesh will not be desecrated. What is this... What does this mean? What is the purpose of it? I can't believe something like this doesn't exist. I'm frail. I'll patch you up. Um, the shamrock I used as bait, and it took one round from a... Um, The enemy could be hiding anywhere. This is going to take a while, I feel. Make sure to keep your distance. But I want to I want to try to secure this like cuz there seems to be very few mines here. If the mines are actually important then like good uh good to not step on them, but All right, no one else should be able to get up that far. Oh shit. Your body's yours to use. Right. I don't want to be alone. Firing capabilities lost. They've got my turret. What is what is the yelling about? Like I've never fully known what the yelling is meant to be. Wait, what? Is there a target over here? There so is. You know, back to cover. Trooper Elite, huh? That's not good. These two are the furthest back, so we need to pull them up. After me, kiddos. You know, I still don't know what this does. Like, I know it's, like, cute or thematic or, like, appropriate to, like, name all your things, like, Eternal Big Sister, like... You know, but, like, those don't always actually get across what the actual... A fucking thing Get does. Die, um, I will go ahead and play this next turn out and end the episode. Maybe not the whole next turn, but like, I don't, I don't know what I should be expecting from. Um, I'm ready to go. I'll go have you help out, Homer. 
I don't know what I should be expecting from the the Marmota. Oh, I got one. Enemy sighted. Another trooper elite, huh? I'll wipe the smug rings off your mug soon enough. I guess that's who's been um like in range. I'm on. Uh, fall back for now. Retreat. I'm on. Just gotta nudge her ahead a little bit. Get her out of the danger zone. And I've got the spare command point, so I may as well, right? Here we go. Maybe we can use the Edelweiss to like be as distraction. Like again, I know that these mines are like allegedly important, but like Man, I gotta get through. I know that it's, like, allegedly important that I, like, you know, stop this thing. But also, I'm the main character, and if I die, the game's over. So, you know. Uh, let's bank it, I guess. I'll watch this turn play out, and then I'll end the episode. Um... Hey, that landed on the top of the building. Did that mean anything? This looks like a different cutscene. It's not the normal advancement cutscene. Enemy course change confirmed. Okay, good. That's a victory condition. Looks like we made him turn. Okay, let's keep guiding that thing home. Cool. I guess the rest of the mines must be after this. But anyway, um, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles uh, in my sparse apartment. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a good time, everyone. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a good day. The good day is yet to come. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.